Pros and cons for Reed Shepard returning to Kentucky, Father Jeff addresses Mark Pope hiring. Kentucky basketball is about to enter a new era as longtime coach John Calipari leaves the university to take a position at Arkansas. Mark Pope, the coach at BYU, was the top choice for UK athletic director Mitch Barnhart to replace Calipari, only a few days after his shocking departure. Pope's connection to the Bluegrass State goes all the way back to his playing days there, 1994 to 1996. Jeff Shepard, the father of current Kentucky player Reed Shepard, was a roommate and teammate of Pope. The younger Shepard is still undecided whether returning to Kentucky for his sophomore campaign or entering the 2024 NBA draft. Jeff Shepard told the Lexington Herald Leader on Friday, It's a good question. Mark and I have been friends for a very long time. I'm not sure. I didn't really get a chance to chat to Reed about last night's late hour. He's making an effort to go through a procedure of obtaining data in order to ascertain his true location. Obviously, there is a lot of chatter. According to CBS Sports NBA Draft Prospect Rankings, Shepard is ranked 5th overall. Shepard averaged 12.5 points, 4.5 assists, 4.1 rebounds, and 2.5 steals per game to win the CBS Sports Freshman of the Year award. Here are some benefits and drawbacks of Shepard spending one more season in Kentucky. Pro, close relationship with Pope. There's no denying the Shepard family's close relationship with the incoming Kentucky coach. Shepard, who is older, and Pope were important players on Kentucky's 1996 national championship team and have maintained communication. As Reed considers his options, Jeff Shepard revealed to The Athletic that he has already spoken with his former colleague. We're willing to consider anything, stated Jeff Shepard. I've already had a few chats with Mark, and Reed is still deliberating over that choice. The NBA is currently showing a lot of interest, so we need to pay attention to it. It's challenging since Kentucky's supporters are also really interested. That makes things really challenging. That relationship might play a significant role in Shepard's impending choice. Con, he already has a high draft stock. One may use the proverb, take the money or leave it, in this situation. Shepard is merely a lock to be selected in the lottery if he declares for the draft. Shepard is ranked number 4 by Kyle Boone, David Cobb, and Gary Parrish in the most recent mock drafts from CBS Sports. Shepard has come a long way from being a four-star recruit who 247 Sports ranked number 79 in the 2023 recruiting cycle to one of his class's most interesting draft possibilities. Over the past five months, Shepard's draft status has skyrocketed, and based on how he does in the tests at the NBA Combine next month, it may jump even higher. During the previous season, Shepard was among the most productive players in college basketball. For that reason, he ought to be able to find a spot on whatever team chooses him from day one. Pro, Shepard would get going right away. Shepard played in 33 games, but only made five starts despite averaging 28.9 minutes per game. Shepard came off the bench alongside fellow rookie Rob Dillingham and started behind a backcourt that included Antonio Reeves and J. Wagner. Shepard would have a good chance of starting because Dillingham is going to the NBA and Reeves is no longer eligible. Shepard might skyrocket the draft boards if he plays a bigger part in his second season. Name, image, and likeness could also be factors in a possible return. Two UK donors have committed at least $4 million to the program to aid Pope in building the roster, according to Matt Jones of Kentucky Sports Radio. Drawback, the 2025 NBA draft class is loaded. The NBA draft of 2024 is regarded as one of the weakest classes at the top in a long time. Shepard seems to be a lock for a top of 10 pick this summer, but there's no assurance he would stay in that position should he remain for a second season. Shepard's return to school will probably boost his overall stock, but the first pick in the 2025 NBA draft seems to be much stronger. Even if Shepard has better results in year two, that may ultimately cause him to fall further in the hierarchy. Cooper Flagg, a recent recruit at Duke and the likely number one overall pick, is the star of that upcoming draft class. Other players expected to be selected in the lottery are Trey Johnson of Texas, Dylan Harper and Ace Bailey of Rutgers, Viet J, Edgecombe of Baylor, and Common Maluak of Duke. Pro, Shepard can stay and become a legend in the UK. Less over an hour separates Shepard's childhood home in London, Kentucky, from the Lexington campus. 
His mother, Stacy, was a standout player for the Kentucky women's basketball team in the 1990s, and his father assisted in winning Kentucky's sixth national championship. Shepard is the only lottery projected pick from this class who is likely to remain for a second season, and that's mostly due to his strong links to the university. Shepard probably declares and forfeits his remaining eligibility, but there are too many ties to the school to rule out this scenario. He will get the opportunity to build on the history his parents established at the institution almost 30 years ago if he returns for his sophomore campaign. Cons, it takes longer to obtain a second NBA deal. Keeping with the money and draft theme, Shepard dropping out of school this season would facilitate the acquisition of a second, more lucrative contract. Players selected in the NBA draft are given rookie-scale contracts that last four years. Any athlete wants to go into a second contract since, in most cases, it can lead to even more income for future generations. Tyrese Halliburton, an Indiana Pacers star and lottery pick in the 2020 NBA draft, inked a five-year contract worth up to $260 million last summer. Beginning in the summer of 2027, players from the 2024 class will be eligible for extensions. At least a year is added to the process if Shepard goes back to school, 